guys, it's your girl, Poppin' Shay, but you knew that already. So welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be going over postpartum care and tips for all you expecting moms out there. Um, as a first time mom myself, I found myself on TikTok and YouTube researching what to expect for aftercare. So I'm gonna make this video to help some of you that like me are a little bit overwhelmed. So let's dive right in. First things first, I'm gonna say viewer discretion is advised. I'm not a medical professional. I'm only going based off of what worked for me and things that I did for myself. So make sure you consult with your medical provider before taking any advice from anyone that you see on the internet in general. So with that being said, I'm gonna let you know what I did, what helped me, um, and what has helped some of my friends too because I did take advice from friends of mine as well. So let's get right into it. So first things first, I'm just gonna show you what the hospital gave me and the care tips that the hospital um, provided to me for when I left. So first things first, we all know about the squeezy bottle. So this is the bottle that the hospital gave me. I know everyone has seen the viral one. This one, I used this for about a week, I would say, and then I was gifted another one. Um, so this is the one that the hospital gives you and this is the viral one here it is the one that extends and you can actually go up and squirt like that um, because when you're postpartum you're not really gonna want to use a wipe as you usually would um, I found myself you know pat drying the area if you know what I mean um, but basically you fill this up as as little or as much as you want with warm water warm water and you just oh spray the area like that spray down there um so yeah i didn't mind just using this one because i would just you know spray from the top and just let the water trickle down and then do the back as well um but yeah in the hospital they just had me use the restroom and then spray afterwards and then you get to build your pad okay so this is what the hospital provided to me. They provided me with mesh underwear, which are like boxer briefs. So they provided this to me. And what you would do is just like a panty, you would open it up and these are the pads they provided. They're, I would say maxi, and they're like extra wide and extra long. So this is what they look like in comparison to my head. <laughs> but yeah, these are what they would give you. So what I would do is take this, stick it to the briefs, and then I would line it with these. This is what my hospital provided me. I would line it with these um, witch hazel, hemorrhoidal pads with witch hazel. I would line them with these pads. Let me show you. They're just circular pads. So I would line up put about four on here. So I would just do one, two, three, four. And then this spray that they provided me, which is this. This is a topical anesthetic spray, 20% um, benzocaine. <laughs> so you just shake this really well. And then I would spray the pad with the witch hazel on it. I would spray it really well, really, really thorough. And then I would as well, they gave me this, which is for hemorrhoids as well. Because like I said, I had a second degree tear and I had just a tiny hemorrhoid. So I would then take this and squeeze it on the witch hazel pad that was nearest to the back. And then just go ahead and pull up my pants and that was that. And that worked for me. Um, I know some people would use um, the ice pads if you have seen them. Um, also, I hear people use aloe vera gel. Um, I didn't end up needing aloe vera gel and I also didn't end up 
getting any of the frozen pads that some hospitals provide or some people, you know, get it on their own dime. I personally didn't need it. And I also felt like I didn't need to use um, this bottle for as long as people do use it. I was able to wipe, I would say around towards the end of my second week, I was able to just wipe as normal as well as in the shower, which many people don't talk about. In the shower for the first couple, I would say the first week, I only wanted just warm water down there. Um, didn't want to use a rag or anything. I would just, you know, pat in the crevices that needed to be <laughs> cleaned, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to do the rigorous like soap and exfoliating and all that, of course, because you're healing down there. So while you're in the shower, um, I would say just let hot to, not hot, but warm water just run through that area. Um, no baths, um, no jacuzzis, nothing like that. You can't insert anything for that six weeks or until your provider has said that your cervix has healed. You cannot use a tampon. I know some people like myself, when I have my menstrual cycle, I don't use a pad. So it's been several years since I've had to use a pad and then you go straight to this brick. <laughs> So, but while you're healing, you're not going to think about it. So, yeah, you're not allowed to use any tampons. You can't insert anything. Basically, you are on pelvic rest. You need to let that area breathe. Um, change your, your pads as often as you use the restroom, I would say, just to make sure that everything is just clean and free of bacteria. Um, also, I was given by my provider um, 800 milligram ibuprofen from my pharmacy that I had to go pick up. I was given that just to help with the cramping um, because I am breastfeeding as well. I feel like that helped me push some of that out, um, if you know what I mean. Because when you breastfeed, you are contracting and I could feel the contractions while I was breastfeeding. Um, if he got a good latch, that's how I knew. <laughs> um, but it wasn't as painful as I thought. Like on social media, you, you see people um, at the extremes. And for me, when he was, con when I was contracting and he was breastfeeding, it wasn't, it wasn't bad for me. Now, um, I know a lot of people are scared for the first um, bowel movement, if you will. I was also scared. So in the hospital, I did not want to do it at all. I was just only urinating in the hospital because I was scared to have anything else like push through because you just went through this traumatic event, which they're telling you to bear down like you're pooping. <laughs> if you haven't seen my labor and delivery story, go and watch that, um, my birth story. Um, but yeah, they're telling you to bear down like you're pooping. And so when it comes time for you in the postpartum unit, I was just not in a position to where I was mentally prepared to pass, okay? So moving on from bowel movements, back to postpartum. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I feel like it was very straightforward. Um, the care for down there. Now I have seen people that say that they chose to use the adult diapers. I did end up getting adult diapers um, gifted to me from a friend. Um, and I did like them because as I said, this was pretty bulky inside of the mesh underwear because these are very thin. And then you have this brick sitting inside of them. And with the, I think we had, um, I think my friend gifted me the Depends ones um in those everything is about the same density all around um and so i would do the same thing with those use my spray put my witch hazel pads on and call it a day but yeah everything was pretty straightforward it was just like having a period but of course um what you need to look out for with the bleeding is clotting um you shouldn't i was told by my healthcare provider Clots are normal. Um, they can go up to the size of a golf ball, 
but you should call in that instance if you are passing golf ball size clots. Um, I know this is TMI for some people, but the girls need to know what to look out for. I especially call your healthcare provider if you have any questions um, on what is normal and what is not normal. Uh, but before I left the hospital, they did make sure to go ahead and let me know what to look out for. Um, but yeah, the bleeding they said could take up to eight weeks to go away, but it does gradually get lighter and lighter. Um, I Right now I'm at a point to where it's just spotting. I'm four weeks postpartum. It's been a full month. Um, but yeah, so now I have graduated to not using these brick size pads anymore. Like I said, I think I was done with these around two, like right at the end of two weeks, I stopped using these. Um, and then I went to the always, no, not always discreet. It was the Depends, I believe. I used the Depends, um, but always discreet. They're right there, neck and neck together. I think that's what the underwear is called. But I went to that and now I'm just on the regular like ultra thin um, always pads and I don't have to use any um, any of the sprays or ointments or anything like that. Now I do think that this is a dupe for what everyone has seen um, the Dermaplast spray. This is what my hospital provided me and it's only two ounces worth and I still have I still have some in here. Um, but that just might be for me. I probably have a um, higher pain tolerance than some people, but um, everything looks fine down there, my doctor said. So, you know, it just is up for your discretion. Some people bleed heavier than others. Some people stop at two weeks. Some people go the whole eight. Some people just go six, but it's really, it's really up to your body. But I hope this video helps who needs to see it. If you have any other questions that I can help answer, I'm more than happy to speak with you in the comments about it. Make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms at Pop and Shay. On TikTok, I am at the Pop and Shay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, please speak to your healthcare providers. Also, postpartum tips for mental health. I do have a link in my description box for a hotline um, if you need someone to talk to. Um, but again, feel free to DM me if you need to. Um, I'm there for all of my supporters, whoever needs it. We can go through this together. I, again, I'm only four weeks postpartum, so I know I have a journey to go through, but so far, so good. And I hope for you too that you have as good as a journey as I'm having. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video and as always have a poppin' day. Bye.